Before we start with the jaguars, I'd like to show you my new hippo habitat. It turned out real pretty. Oh, they're both here. They seem to like being inside the building, but that's for the next time. Right now, we're headed straight to the jaguars. Mm, and here it is. Oh, I love it. You can see the top of the temple far, far away, but let's start with the main entrance. I used both stone and golden elements from the South American expansion and a simple tiger silhouette, but the real star here is that roof. Turned out amazing. If you turn to the right, you can see that new red and green frog exhibit. It's quite popular. And on the left, an original replica of the Amazon rainforest. I used the water sprinklers to imitate the rain and just the right plants. And here it is, a giant glass wall between the visitors and the jaguars. One is right here. And if no one's home, you probably can spot them here. Uh -huh. I kind of regret digging this pond because they do not require water, but when they have some, they don't go anywhere else. I've built them such a giant habitat, six times bigger than it needs to be, and they only swim. This old forgotten temple is supposed to be their ultimate hiding spot because they can climb it. But since there's no water there, they don't. With all the plants, I hope I nail the jungle aesthetics and it can be seen from up close. All we have to do is go down one narrow path. Glass cover ensures visitor safety, I hope. And we are inside! From now on, we can observe the jaguars as they play, climb, hunt. Oh, they don't. Oh, too bad we don't see the pond because that's where they all are swimming. Their goddamn cats, they're not supposed to like water that much. The glass cube is a part of the temple building. I think I'll put it on Steam Workshop so you can find a link in the description. As you can see, I placed all of the climbing equipment here just to encourage the jaguars to climb, but they don't. Here is a shelter. I used it in my tiger habitat. They're not here. They're not here. That's great. They finally went somewhere else. Oh my god. And here, here, here. Okay, here is a hidden gimmick. Just a secret pathway the inside building they can use it whenever they want where are they okay where are they so they can no they're not here they can climb these trees okay where did they go no never mind we've already seen no we didn't see this place here I made a little dining area with another giant glass window. You can eat and watch the cats at the same time. And I forgot to show you one more element. It's very, very important. I've, I've had it in mind even before I started this building. So you can go through the main entrance here, but you can take the stairs. And you can go here and see the animals from up close. From above, if someone's, if some cat sits right here, it's very, very close, and I think all the visitors are gonna love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, where are they? <gasps> I can hear one. Yes. Oh, okay. That's why they're not in the water. Mm. And I think just. The just this indoor area is enough. So if you like that building, the one with the beautiful roof, uh, I think I'll put this one on Steam Workshop too. So yeah, if you like it, you'll find another link in the description. <laughs> That's how it looks and I'm super proud of it. Let's start the building part. Of course, I will not be commenting this. I understand how La Designer is making her builds, but I don't understand how she's able to speak that long. She's always talking. And I have nothing to talk about. So, thank you for watching.